Hello everyone, this is Strawberry Shorty, back with seven years from now. And we're kicking things off. Chapter 29, I think. Nope, chapter 28. I don't even remember what just happened. I haven't been able to record for a bit because of my voice. I threw it out recording some other stuff. It's still not technically healed, but I want to get some more parts of this done. <sighs> nah, no way. The director asked me to tell him about time leaping. Oh yeah, we were wondering if other people were time leaping. He wasn't acting. That means his father's research wasn't completed. Or it was completed and stolen. Play a video game, kid. Or maybe it was completed, but he hasn't told his son about all of it. The director must be lacking something that will allow him to leap back. What can it be? A pure heart. Hmm. I can't time leap anymore, so I have to think carefully. Where am I supposed to go? I'm going to go in here. Kagaru! Did I come from this room? They just throw me in here. Don't tell me where I'm supposed to go. Guess I'm leaving. It's so quiet. I mean, I'm partially glad it's quiet. But, oh my gosh, I can't use the elevator. I'm trapped. Unless the game is glitching out again. Oh, I can go in here. Because trying to sync the audio for these games is a nightmare. Oh, Haruto. Hey, Haruto. Have you eaten a Sakura mochi before? I think I actually have. I don't really care for mochi. Um, yeah, I think so. Hano-chan's never eaten one. It, it's not that. Hmm? Theres brought some Sakura mochi before as a souvenir, but I couldn't eat it. A and that Sakura mochi, it's shaped like a cylinder. I've never seen mochi shaped like a cylinder. It's always shaped like a bun. I've only eaten ones that look like buns, so... Yeah, see, buns. Oh, the cylindrical one. Yeah, that type. Have you tried it before? Like some type of roll cake? Yeah, I have, I think. Wait, why couldn't you eat it, Hanukkah? Well, Saki... Hey, I didn't try to leave you out. Hanukkah had some dietary restrictions at the time, and the best before date was creeping up. So Saki-chan told me that we should eat all of it by ourselves. Hey, I didn't say that. The nurse said so. She said that it'll be sad to just see it without being able to eat it, so... Maybe Kakaru is the director, but young. Wow, you bullies. I really wanted to eat the cylindrical one. No, no, I wasn't trying to bully you. Ha ha ha. Riku, have you eaten one before? Hmm? I mean, what's a cylindrical one anyway? Wow, starting from there? You're out of the loop too. Ha ha ha. So I was looking around for my invitation, but it was gone. Wow, that's a scary story. It's not that scary. Really, I think it is. Hanochan, were you scared? N not really. I can't tell if she's telling the truth or not. Maybe it's an invitation from the underworld, isn't that scary? B but being able to send letters even after you're dead, that seems nice. Nice? You could still communicate with people you cared about. I, I guess so in a way. But that's not the point. Hanukkah, you're so negative. That sounded like she was being positive, though. Uh, s sorry. Ha ha ha. chan it's not about giving letters, but receiving them. But... I've never received an invitation letter before. Neither. Same here. Big bro, I've never gotten one either. I don't believe you, Kakaru. Hmm. Invitation. Speaking of which, a long time ago... Flashback? Haruto! Do you like invitations? Wow, you scared me. Huh? What? Would you be happy if you received an invitation? Um, I guess. Hey, look at this. It's an invitation. Sent to me. What? From who? I don't know who it's from, but it's an invitation. This seems suspicious. It says invitation as well. Can I have a look? Sure. Wow, it's real. Hmm, tonight at the research lab, this is sounding more and more suspicious. I wonder who it's from. It's not from Aoi, huh? Huh? From me? Oh, it's nothing. Hee <laughs> hee. Did you want an invitation from me? No, I mean, since you asked me if I liked invitations. Oh, that's a commonly used technique to get people to talk about how they really feel. If you question them when they are surprised, they tend to answer honestly. Oh. Anyway, you'll go, right? Tonight? Didn't the pink-haired nurse say something like that? 
to know. It might be a prank, and it's too dangerous. It's okay since it's inside the hospital, but... Is that how she died? We didn't go with her? No, nope, guess not. Haruto, do you want to go back? Huh? But we just got here. Yeah, but aren't you scared? Or is this when we get our memories erased? Well, we're here now, so we might as well go. Okay. Here's the warehouse. I guess they don't keep it locked. That's a bit scary. Huh? It won't open. There's creepy music playing. <coughs> You're right. Hmm. Haruto, what's that? A lot of coffee beans? Aren't they kind of different? Hmm, some sort of seeds? Seeds, huh? Hmm, no, maybe coffee beans. Beans, huh? Actually, they might be seeds after all. Seeds, huh? Yeah. Why does she keep repeating herself? Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Phew. Let's head back. Yeah. I wonder what that invitation was. That was so weird. Maybe it was just some prank. Oh, by the way, let's go and help Saki and Hanukkah. Huh? We can't. Huh? Why? What do you mean, Saki and Hanukkah are preparing for the birthday? Yeah. Yeah, so we can't go. But I feel like I'm being left out recently. It's so lonely. You have to bear with it for a while. Hmm. Bear with it, huh? Yep. I see. <laughs> what was with that invitation? Maybe it was us from the future trying to, t trying to tell us that we needed to go get those seeds. Hmm. Haruto. What's up? You're all spaced out. Yeah, I just remembered something. From the past? Well, you can't remember something from the future. Yep, Aoi received an invitation before, but it was probably just a prank. Oh, I didn't know that. Haruto, w when was this? You know something, Hanukkah? Um, I think it was when you and Saki were preparing for a birthday party. Birthday party preparation. Oh. Hmm. Hmm? Huh? If Saki and Hanukkah were preparing it, it must have been your and Aoi's birthday party. So that must be near the end of March. I wasn't there by then, but I see. The end of March? Yeah, so what you just remembered should be almost exactly seven years ago. You mean seven years from now? If Saki-chan and Hanu-chan don't know about it, it might be the day before Aoi-chan passed away. Oh no. I was secretly helping out with their preparations too. The day before, I see. Oh right, H Haruto, your birthday was last week. That's true, happy birthday. Oh, true. We always used to celebrate your birthday after, together with Aoi's. Oh, I see. Thanks, guys. Sure brings back memories. Yeah, it does. Oh, look at the time. I have to get going. Arto, will you be coming tomorrow? Yep, I will. Okay, see you tomorrow, then. Bye-bye. Alright then, Kakura. You should head back as well. Yeah, see ya, Hanochan, Haruto. Hmm. It's just the two of us. Yeah. It's really been a while, huh, Haruto? Yep. Hey, Haruto, I... Hanukkah, I'm sorry. Huh? I know what you're going to say. I know what you're going to ask for as well. Hmm? But I want you to tell me that later. It's not that I don't want to hear it. I know I have to hear it, but I don't have my answer just yet. Uh, what am I saying? Sorry. Um, I don't know what's happening either, but okay. If it's going to trouble you, then I won't say it. And even if I don't say it, it seems like you already know about it. He... Hmm. Knowing even if you don't say it, huh? Yep, you're incredible, Haruto. Um, hey. I wonder if Saki knows it, too. Hmm? I wonder if Saki knows how you feel. Hmm. I always tell Saki how I feel. Really? Huh? Do you really? Maybe Saki wants you to say it. Because she cares about you deeply. Sorry for saying such weird things. I'll get going. I'll see you tomorrow. <sighs> hmm. Wants me to say it. Wants me to. Hmm. Now Hanukkah's suspicious. Oh my gosh, this chapter's still going. <sighs> Maybe Saki wants you to say it, huh? Like I could talk about being honest. <sighs> It's that man. Oh yeah, I should talk to him. Um, excuse me. 
Hmm? What is it? Sir, you were a journalist in the past, right? That's right. You've got a keen eye, kid. I was for a good 40 years. Now I'm just a bag of bones, though. Bwahaha. Um, I'd like to ask about something. Sure, ask away. It's about the accident at this hospital seven years ago. Um, do you know the names of the people who died? The names? Yes, I'd like to check if someone I knew died in this accident. Oh, I see. Yeah, of course I know the names. Oh, really? Then... Oh, sorry, kid. Even I can't get the names straight away. I'll have to check the files. This dude's about to be killed. Oh, right. Um, around how long will that take? Maybe a month or two. That long. You're lacking patience, kid. I mean, a month's a long time. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Well, come on, then. Tell me the name. Huh? You want to know, right? Tell me the name. I might have remembered it. Ichiki. Whoa. Was there anyone with the name Ichiki? Hmm. There was. R really? Thank you. I just wanted to know that. I see. If that was useful to you, then I'm glad to have been of service. Why would it take you a month to get the files, though? But, sir, you really do have a great memory, as expected of a journalist. Of course I'd remember that name. I will never forget the name Ichiki. Why? This feels like a chapter end drop moment. Hmm? Is it an important name? How could I ever forget? Ichiki's the name of the guy. Who killed the director? Dun dun dun! What you wish to talk about. So, An Ichiki is a murderer. I, is it supposed to be R. Ichiki or like his father? I don't know. I'm not even sure it matters because it might not be the truth. I think I have this game on my thing, but I've never played it. This is going to kill my voice, but... Uh, oh, sorry. Yeesh. Dr. Ichiki's father killed the previous director? But that Mr. Ichiki also died in the accident, right? That's right. Not only that... Actually, forget I said that. No, tell me! Huh? I was a journalist. I shouldn't just say things based on my theories. It's a theory? Um, even if it's a theory, could you tell me a little bit? It's a theory based on all the information I gathered. The whole thing is, specul is a speculation. I'm sorry, forget about it. I see, if you say so... Yeah, if you heard that in the background, our room is near the thing where you get ice, and the walls are paper thin. Yeah, thank you for your help. Hmm. If that was the truth, did they have a falling out? But no use thinking about it. He did say it was a theory. But now I know that both Mr. Ichiki and Mr. Kikusui died in that accident. So that definitely means that their research took place at this hospital. So was the theory that the death, that the murder happened, or what? That means the thing the director is lacking to time leap is... I still don't know. I should go home today. Unless well, you know where to go this time. Are we really not going to time leap anymore? I'm pretty sure there's a lot of chapters left. Tomorrow would be the third day. I don't know what happens from the fourth day onwards, and Riku will probably try to sneak in tomorrow. If I'm going to talk to the director, it would have to be tomorrow morning. The director's diary. The drawing on the front cover that looks like a ghost. I wonder who drew it. Probably the girl. Let me try praying. Please help me convince the director. All right, this should do. Hmm. I should sleep. I saw a dream that night. Are we? Where are we? This place is messy. Oh, is this the uh, the old hospital? Wow, this is amazing. He, how did you find a room like this? This before Owie died. I was looking for places to take pictures, and I just found here. It looks really broken. No one has probably been here for a long time. Hmm. I wonder what this is. You shouldn't touch it. Hmm. I don't know what it is, but it must be something important. This too? Yeah. Okay then. Aren't you going to take pictures? 
I'll take some now. Let's give it to everybody later. Yeah. All right, I have to take a nice picture then. Take a picture of all the vaseless flowers standing up over there. Don't screw up. <laughs> You're pressuring me. I wonder if this angle is okay. I'm sure anything is fine. Jeez, when you, then you should take it, Haruto. What? Taking pictures is your job, Owie. Then what's your job? Hmm. Praying? Then please pray. Please let Owie take good pictures. Haha, <laughs> this is so weird. The next day. Nothing came of that little dream. A dream. Hmm. Alright, let's head to the hospital. Sorry, I'm not super talkative during these moments. My poor voice. It's killing me. Hmm. I guess I should stop by the old well and give a little prayer. I'm really religious all of a sudden. Even if I did get a spring break, I most likely would have just slept. <clears throat> Please help me convince the director. Alright. This music is weird. The promised day is tomorrow, but... There sure aren't any flowers blooming. What's that in the background? I guess there weren't any seeds left. Seeds. Hmm? Seeds? Are we thinking about that room now? That's it! What we saw that time weren't coffee beans after all, they were seeds. Akitsu carnation seeds. So seven years ago, the hospital was trying to stockpile those seeds. That's why they cut down all the flowers here as well. I'm, I'm really clinging to my theory that someone from the future gave us that invitation because they wanted us to see the seeds. For now. That's why they cut down all the flowers here as well. It's nearly spring, but I've yet to see a single one in bloom in the wild. Hmm. But the ones here were likely normal Akitsu carnations with a seven-year bloom cycle. The Akitsu carnations needed for time leaping are the special ones with an 11-year bloom cycle. Which one was the hospital trying to stockpile? Maybe both. Hmm. Regardless, it's not really related to convincing the director. Uh, how should I persuade him? Maybe I should be honest with him, like with Mr. Ishiyuchi. Hmm. Riku! Aruto! Wow, you scared me. <laughs> You've been jumpy since yesterday. Riku, why are you here? Is he about to push us on the well? Oh, right. Hanukkah. Yeah, Hanukkah told me you were here. She said she saw you walking this way. I saw Saki on the way, so she's probably heading here as well. So what were you doing? I was thinking about my dream that I told you about yesterday. Oh, that. Maybe you shouldn't try to think about it too hard. It's just a dream, after all. Then, what if it wasn't a dream? What? Yesterday you were raising ideas about time leaping, and today you saying it wasn't a dream? Either way, I don't have any ideas on how you can convince him, but... If we leave it, the director's probably going to torture that doctor friend of yours into talking. Huh? Torture? Are you serious? I mean, he's certainly biding his time. Well, I'm jo kind of joking, but he'll probably do something like attacking his officer home. To try and forcefully take the equipment needed for time leaping, that is. That's pretty risky and stupid. Attack? But they're friends. If time leaping is real and his friend is keeping it a secret, he could take those drastic steps. Even friends. I guess we can't roll that out. This really makes it feel like Riku's going to betray me. But the fact that he didn't means that he doesn't need to. I guess it means that the director already knows most of the things about time leaping. Yeah, I guess so. The director is so close to achieving it, but he's just missing one last piece. I wonder what he wants to know. Hmm. Or perhaps... Hmm? Maybe it's the opposite. The opposite? Yep. What do you mean? Maybe he actually doesn't know anything about time leaping. He doesn't even know what it is. Haha. <laughs> the director doesn't know anything? We can assume that he's missing something because he hasn't achieved it yet. But to say he doesn't know anything at all, that's... Possible, is it? I don't get how that's possible. Well, I'm kind of glad it's the chapter in 29, A Faint Dream. So, I have to end this part here. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave a comment, and I'll catch you next time. Bye!